Hello everybody, I am Brentman19 and welcome to episode number 3 of our Maratha campaign in Season 2 of Empire Total War. We have started out with Satara here as well as Arkant. And we have already taken over Ahmad Nagar. There you go. That's the best it's going to get. All right. And I'm going to try never to ever say that place ever again. It's just going to be this place. Um, we have some rebel problems for sure going to pop up. We're just going to have to wait it out. There's not much I can do. Though we are going to start pushing up these, you know, pushing to uh, kind of connect up our nation. And hopefully during that time, we can let the rebel problems go away. Uh, anyway, so I don't really have a lot of money and... I would love to recruit a ship here in the coming stuff. So if right now we're just going to stop what we're doing and uh, we're going to end the turn. I was uh, checking the United Provinces there just because the United Provinces, uh, whenever they get beaten in Europe, which pretty much always happens, their colonies just fall by the wayside. That's good because... Well, that means that those colonies then fall into disrepair. We can just easily like swipe in there and get it for ourselves. You know, we just got to hope that we do it before Great Britain or anybody else does that. Um, I think if we have everything correctly, we could do it. 350. You know what? I'm going to do it. It's less than what they originally wanted, which was like, what, 400, 450? So yeah, guys, I hope you guys have, uh, are liking what you're watching. And if you are, you've subscribed and you've hit that notification bell. That stuff's really helpful um, when you do that. Also, liking and commenting. The YouTube algorithm just thrives on that, and I'd really appreciate it everybody were to like these videos and just, you know, say a nice little kind word to myself or future, you know, comment, uh, future commenters. Maybe spark up some conversations. Everybody can become friends. Just, you know, it's kind of how we build this community up. You know, I think we all like to... Obviously, you're here and somebody else is here, so you have a shared interest. So don't be afraid. Anyways, uh, Barbary States. Okay. This is the one thing I like about the Maratha. I don't have to see hardly the anything. The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national Thank you. Leader, Let's see what they, they have to... With the current government. Yeah, I figure they're unhappy. That's fine. Uh, Ore invented. You know, yep, there we go. We just get this last one. Pull together. Right here. I am going to go ahead and get another sloop. I did lose this place, which kind of sucks. Um, I want one of your units. This one, in fact. You get fixed up. You come right here. That's a nine stack. Let's go forward. 834 against 48. That's not a lot, guys. I'm just going to auto-resolve it. Kills 11 of my men. So be it. Let's take it. We're going to... Let's move forward to here. I don't know if they're going to move forward and try to attack me or what. So we're just going to wait back and see. These guys actually did get better. So we'll be fine with that. Down here, we're going to go ahead and build the Samadir court, Samadar's Court. Everything's okay still. I'm fine with that. Um, this place is fairly Hindu. There's some Islam and Buddhism there. Go ahead. Oh, I can't fix anything. I don't have a lot of money. We just don't have a lot of money coming in. That's just horrible. Uh, but it's okay. We'll work it out. Um, when I take away all of his ports, he won't have much to do with his ships. So for right now, though, we just got to kind of deal with it. Army. Take him over to here. We don't have enough, too much money, so we'll just fix this one port up. And we'll end up getting something in every port, so don't worry about it. We'll go ahead and end this turn now. I had only six gold left in the treasury. <laughs> the state of affairs is bleak. I don't care if they're blockading us. It's just when they start t you know, hitting our trade stuff it really does hurt us okay all right that's good when they start taking out our trade buildings and I have to like pay for them extra that's when it sucks 
like I said, they're only running with like two, three ship stacks. I mean, a couple lucky naval engagements. I should be able to win that out. Okay. I do see more of what's going on through the uh, Ottoman Empire right now. And they're all pulling their forces together to the in that region. Okay, they're going to... Yes, this is what I really wanted to see. 823 against uh, 966. They're not going to have these cannons. They're really just going to have a bunch of camel or... Uh, Camel Cav, you know, cam, you know, Camel Nomads, and Hindu Musketeers, as well as these, this mob. The rest of them are all, you know, they're not not muskets, so I should be able to just handle them. So let's do it. Okay, let's take all of these. We're gonna end up putting them. Well, we're technically on defense, right? I don't I don't have my extra crew, do I? Oh, we we got split off. Oh, okay. In deployment. We're going to kind of play into our defensive posture here. There you go. Come in together. There we go. All right, I think we got everybody in position, or moving to position. Here comes our elephant. Enemy seems to be primarily off over here, actually. Let's do this. Move up. Let's all get into position. We're all up on the line, just fine, right where we want to be. And I, I really invite them to come hit me. I want them to. Are we on good positions on the battlefield? Kind of. I mean, not everything is perfect, but... I mean, it'll work. They've created a line. forward yep are they shifting around a little bit I don't know kind of want to pivot There you go. They're not get now we're not guaranteed. Okay. We're 
We're going to move up by doing that move. Come on, bro. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Let's do this. My guy's over here. Pretty much stopped. We're all in position. I'm not going to move again. Okay, here they come. Won't be long. These guys will be in, in, you know, up on us. Let's let them get there. First salvos into the camel. Knocks out like 12. I'm perfectly fine with them running across the line. There he goes. He's broken. Horses aren't good with camels around. These guys are already running. Let's go and get these horses a little bit more rank. Those two fungi, these guys right here are Hindu musketeers. They're the ones I really want to wipe out. Alright, we pushed off these two fungi. We're hitting these camel on the flank to see if we can get them to run away. Shattered that levy. These camel are broken. And shattered, actually. He's been shattered. You don't want to deal with those again, so I'm going to send these uh, right over that at them. Hitting some swordsmen, which we're now shattering him as we run across all the lines. We're going to get caught up on these two. Okay. Yep, shattered, shattered. None of these guys have got to be tired. He's still just killing everything he can. The general's dead. And we're coming in to hit this group. Yeah, shattered him once we touched him for the first time. and converge on that. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I think this battle's pretty much over. We lost a couple, we lost some men here. We didn't get out completely, you know, without issue. Broke him, shattered him. Keep killing a few, let's see what happens. Okay, there you go. Alright, we killed 729 to lose 162. Made the entire group inside that, uh, what do you call place, run though. Okay, anything. I don't really know how I want to proceed. A trade port in your home region has been blockaded by an enemy fleet. That's fine. Whilst this is in place, no imports or exports can take place. 
and all income from sea-based trade coming through that port is suspended. Act quickly to lift the blockade. Someone has your nation in a chokehold. Okay. We're moving here. We are going to siege it. They will refuse to surrender, so I'm just going to do this. These men, meanwhile, are going to head down south. Get these guys all fixed up. Can't fix up these buildings, I don't believe. Meanwhile, up here... Eh, I mean, I'd like to have a little bit more trade, but I don't have the money for it. We're putting the ships in, though. That's good news. All right. I think we're good. I mean... Really and truthfully, we just need to put him there. Connect him up. This place will be just fine. Uh, fix his troops up. Once that happens and this gets taken, at that point I could probably move up some more. Okay. It's fine. Let's take a look at construction. Small T plantation here. That's the best it can be. Um, the body house down here did continue onward. Gain a trait. Confident general for that guy. Then our mission up here. See, we're starting to see a little bit more. It's not very fast. For some reason I see this. Okay, in the turn. All right, British, not doing much. French, don't seem to be doing much. They got, a, they got an army on that ship. Okay. And yeah, we can see the Austrians. All right. Ottoman's moving ships around for something. Okay. Up there, diverting men, it looks like. Okay, Portuguese. Okay. A trade port in your home region has been blockaded by an enemy fleet. Whilst this is in place, no import. Thank you. I really wish I could tell her, like, you could be quiet now. Hungary exists. That was quick. Five years, Hungary then turned out to be a nation. Crazy. Guess we just can't afford the ship. Or we can't put the ship in with a blockade. I don't know. That's the blockade. That's got to be what that is. Yeah, I can't continue to afford just sitting around. Um, yes, sir. Fix up this one. This one. I'm like cherry picking units here to fix. Okay, these guys are all pretty much ready. They do have an army on the back side of them. I'll put these men up here, just so we have the backup. Because I doubt they're going to make a run down here. Not without me seeing them, and then I can go hit them. Um, that is important. That's the next important. Research. Empiricism's only a little bit away. Cobbled roads up there. Arcot. Got its next one done. Lost a thousand, so that's not going to happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think we're just going to have to deal with it. 
We're gonna have to just yeah, we're gonna have to just deal with it. I'd rather take their uh, take their land right now anyway. Okay, hold back on this. What are we looking at? Hinduism still going up. Hinduism's pretty far up up there too. They're having some problems though. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn because we only have 71 gold remaining. Biggest thing for us is to take more territory. At this point, more territory collectively means I can build more stuff. Okay. I have three armies. I should have multiple, many more regions than I currently have <laughs> for those three. Because we don't have a trade and we don't have a trade ship fleet running things yet. Okay, and we're not making a whole ton of money. We're not making any money from trade because we don't have a, a fleet to protect our trade. Okay, it's fine. Right. Yep, they're gonna start bringing one unit in and trying to over, you know, trying to overwhelm. My sword. I think they actually just gave me a trade route opened. Okay. Venice not beating a pirate fleet. Okay. We did get another scholar. That scholar is going to come right there. We're going to turn them on this because we need to start getting better, uh, inf you know, better units all together. They, we found one of their men. Saxony was destroyed. Our guy is still successful. We made a little bit more of that turn. They have one pike unit. One more turn, maybe we can turn that. This is still this is two turns away. I fully expect all these guys to crush in on us when this happens. As far as 988, we really don't have any more. 1683, 1848. For some reason, they are still just sitting here. They're not. They didn't move in. That's what it was. Could move to fix this, but it's going to cost me money that I don't have. I'm pretty sure the game's going to try to do it anyway. And no, they didn't. We still have 988 gold. That's a valid concern at this point in the game. You're, you know, if you're like me and you automate construction, that can happen. They can end up using, you know, good chunks of your change to repair things or to build things that you're not wanting them to build or repair. So that's why you usually don't run it. But in my case, I feel safe enough that, you know, my economy's so bad anyway that them doing anything is going to make it better. Even if I might lose it in that case by a raid. Oh yeah, they're building up an army around it and then don't raid anything. Okay. But they're moving troops, man. They can afford a ton of troops right now and I can't. Okay, here they are. 954 against 340. And these guys aren't close enough? I guess not. Um, yeah, I feel more than confident that we can win this. And we're going to do this in this uh, episode. Okay, we're on defense. So we need to kind of be sitting up. Maybe like this. That kind of works. I mean, it's a weird defensive formation. Move up a little bit more. I mean, it, it's so really rugged around here. It's hard to get a good spot. Set up here. 
Left flank. Right flank. Right flank. Okay, moving guys around. Now they gotta come at me, but what I'm gonna try to do is circle around with cavalry. Make it so that they uh, have as hard a time as possible with us. You know, maybe we can knock out some men, knock it, you know, kill enough of them, and the whole entire bat, you know, we won't have to come back again for the siege. Ask for it because we're gonna let them get a little, make sure they're closer. We're almost in realm. Get them in the range. Get them in the range. There they go. They seem to be moving quicker. These are camel gunners. I didn't realize that. Let's hold off. Let's come up here with you. Go, Lancers, go. We killed a few, like two or three before we hit here. Uh, these guys now got too close, so now they're getting picked off. The general is gone, and right now we're intermingled, so I have a feeling they're going to... Should just be completely done with this. I could have maybe chased them down for a better result, but no, no, actually I got the best result possible. 340 killed with only 340 deployed. We lost 25 men. And now Hyderabad is mine. Up, oh, he was found out and killed. Now all he can do is just raid. Which I can live with that. Now we've got to figure out how we're going to hold that location. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Another scholar. All right. Um, and another, we executed one of their agents up here. I see that right. These are like Europeans killing a thuggy. And we got the plug bayonet in one turn. We're going to work on carbines, really. Gonna allow us to have the Pindari horsemen go through the ring bayonet. We're, we're, we're racing for uh, the seek. Where is it at? I want these seek musketeers, and it looks like they come in down here. Okay, let me take a look at this place. We got a little bit of money, so we want to make sure the mansion's good. We're going to put in the dancing school. And I'm also going to fix up the few guys in the army who are hurt. Is there anything else we can do? The cannon foundry, which I don't really care about. The provincial bar barracks, I do. Man, I still had enough for everything. Who's still hurt? Oh, this one unit. We're making 1469 right now. When this place gets fixed up, and I'm sure we'll be okay. There we go. A little bit more money. 137. We ain't making much, but we're making enough, guys. Yeah, there's like one here, one here. Two here, two here. I mean, they're they're hurt. They're hurting us by like a death by a, you know a million cuts here. Um, I'd love to go attack Kutak. That's a th that's actually a tea plantation already up here. 
What is the trade on T doing? T is still at 15. We really want some spices. I thought that we got those down here. Am I in the wrong spot? Mm, oh, here's one right here. A small spice. Okay. Maybe in time it'll get better. But uh, alright guys, I gotta end this right here. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out the links in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.